Hi, it's Wendy again. Um, I got another haul video. The thing is with me and my haul videos is I'll go out, I'll shop, and I'll, <coughs> excuse me, set things in a corner and then forget about them until I clean up that corner. <laughs> That's why I'm having so many. Um, a lot of this stuff has been bought within the last month. <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting a cough. Um, and some of this has been bought within the last week. It's just how I bring up the bags, I guess. And Poppy's here waiting patiently for her treats. Um, let's see. I got Hobby Lobby Joann's Tuesday Morning and Stampers 8. Hobby Lobby. This is Stamper's Inc. Alright. <laughs> there's more to this than that. I'm going to put that aside for now. Because there's more to that Stamper's Inc. Then I got more score tape. What else can I say? <sighs> not Hobby Lobby I have an idea for um for I guess you call it a mini in a box and the idea came about watching Scrappy Camper Sisters uh, Ustream. I am I can say I've watched pretty much every Ustream they have put up. Um, one of them was called the $500 Sandbox and that's where I got my inspiration from. So I went to look for some papers uh, to use because I've got a couple ideas so be two or three different boxes. One of them, and I had seen this paper by Graphic 45 in Hobby Lobby. It is called By the Sea Collection. Excuse me. And one inspiration is this first picture here. So that's going to be the focal point of one. And then the rest of this will be used for the mini album and decoration. And I did get some sand and seashells to go with it. This package is by Cartabella. It's called Ahoy There. And... This one I got <clears throat> for a more naval one. Maybe this is, well that's Hobby Lobby. This one's Hobby Lobby. And I got some Tuesday morning in this bag. Uh, both my husband's father and my father was in the Navy. And I thought it'd be kind of neat to make a kind of beach theme one, kind of naval or beach theme. And this is Cartabella. Ahoy there. Just be a fun um, line of paper to do that type of thing with. Now, when I look at my camera, that shows orange, but it's actually a brown. Okay. Is this one with all the words? 
So this one would be more for like a, a family uh, vacation at the beach, maybe. Let's see, the backs of these are kind of cute. I like these strips down here because they are decorative and you can use them. This one has large uh, cut-aparts, which I like because that would be a nice size album. And then on the back of it, they have all these fish. Um, my dad was actually stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. And there, they had a spot where you could fish for crabs. Now, here's the thing. If you were under the age of 16, you didn't require a license. So, what the... And we lived in naval housing at the time. There on the Norfolk base. So, what would happen is a parent or a couple parents would get together and say, Hey, let's take a bunch of kids crabbing. We'll go get crabs and split whatever they catch. So, they take anywhere from six to ten kids <laughs> and a bunch of smelly chicken. It had to be smelly chicken. It had to be chicken that was just getting disgusting. And we kids would crab. We would take and um, get the crabs. We tie the string to the chicken, piece of chicken, usually a leg, um, sometimes part of a wing. And you just dangle it down in the water. The crabs would come up and grab it. And sometimes you're lucky you got a couple. And take the crabs off, put them in a bucket. Well, then once we got a couple bucket full of. Uh, we go home and we have a big crab bar barbecue. <laughs> so, um, this is from Tuesday morning. And what this is, if anyone has the graphic 45 12 Days of Christmas and you need the alphabet stickers, I have five of them I'm willing to <laughs> send. <laughs> um, I can actually cut them into a small, into something smaller, so it won't be a 12 by 12. It'll be like a 6 by 12. But I have five of these to um, share. It's the stickers. But the nice thing is, these stickers over here, you can actually use with other collections. Um, these ones you could too, if you're doing Christmas albums. I also have five of the Bohemian Bazaar um, stickers that I'm willing to share as well. Now what gets me is there are, it's a six pack of stickers. The price is $24. That means they charge four bucks for each of these. And I got it at Tuesday morning for five bucks. So, so if anyone is looking for those two things, let me know. And as I've said before, if you see something that I got and you, um, it's something you need or whatever, let me know. And if I'm not going to use it or if, um, I can share. I'll share it. I'm more than willing to share. One thing I was really happy about was I went into Tuesday morning and I found these page kits. Yes, I know they're page kits. I don't do scrapbook pages per se, but I thought this would be neat to use to create my um, recipe albums and the other project I'm going to do. And in this one there's 303 pieces and I did manage to pick up another one and another Tuesday morning. I found out we have like, I have about six of them near me. Imagine a Tuesday morning shopping haul. So it has these um, die cuts which are, are nice and I have looked through this. 
but there, I mean, you can literally use every piece in that. They have these uh, two packs of stickers. You got an alphabet sticker, and then you have all these other stickers. You also have this small pack of um, three-day die cuts. Then you have these papers, and these are your borders in that. You have your alphabet. Here's some more frames or and photo corners. Actually, this these are large photo corners right here. And then they have the paper, which is all cooking related. And for the longest time, I couldn't find anything really cooking related. And I would just look out here and there. And these are thin papers, so you wouldn't want to use them um, to make your pages with, but to decorate your pages with would be perfect. Also, I got a piece of chipboard. <laughs> Hey, I love free chip <laughs> But, um, so this was at Tuesday morning, and I, yeah, it was $10. No, it was $4, and normally it's $8, so it was half price. Like I said, I found, at one of the other ones I went to visit, I found another one so actually I can do a whole album or a couple albums I can add what's in here to other papers I have uh, as long as I stay in the same color tones and sometimes it's nice just to use I wouldn't say the decorated papers but more of the plain papers that some people use this background and then let the recipes themselves speak. I haven't been up in my craft room for a while. It's been cold and decided to come up here. Uh, this is another um, kind of seashore one. This one is it's called Seashore another page kit and this one has 293 pieces in it and actually this one is very pretty and I thought well, where the heck did that come from okay um, I thought this would go really well with that by the some of these pieces will go very well with that by the seashore. So again, it's got the paper cuts. It's got the three D die cuts. Well, these are more soft and muted, so maybe some of the softer colors in that. Here's another one. Well, at least they're staying in the package. So I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't find some of them wandering around somewhere downstairs. Okay. So you got your two things of stickers and alpha sticker. Uh, you've got your uh, decorator page and again these are the soft muted ones so if you're going to do a large project with this I'd almost get two of them and share out the stickers and everything with someone else who can use them on another project though I'm thinking I might be able to find additional papers I'll have to look online. This is the Cage Kit by Mo Movement Momenta. Yeah, Momenta. And I gotten some papers from them before. So, and I looked them up, and they are um, 
online. So I think I can get some supplemental pa papers without having to go buy a whole another kit. You see, here's another one that's out. I guess my house is a lot drier than I think, so it's more staticky. I don't know where Mittens is. She should be here. Because I'm on camera. I've got treats. Oh, she might be waiting. I know last time I was on camera, her and Poppy had a little tip. So, but they're fine now. They're a lovey dovey. They they made up. They always need up. So this on the back here. Go to the website. Share your thoughts to win cash. Huh? They have a Facebook page. And they're out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And um, Ashley on Scraps, Buttons, and Bows showed how to do a dugout. And I thought this was cute because I do have um, some friends whose kids are into baseball. I actually have a cousin. Well, if you've ever seen the Royals play, the Kansas City Royals, you saw the guys in the cat suits. I'm embarrassed to say this. One of them is my cousin. But again, you got your, your little ephemera packet. You've got your um, stickers. And this one would be good for more of a, a child. But I did look online. There's a lot of baseball for sports related. And like I said, Ashley at Scraps Button and Bowls did a dugout. And I thought that would be kind of neat if I could do one for my cousin and have all the pictures taken of him in his cat suit. <laughs> his wife would probably like it. But there we go. So that was one Tuesday morning haul. I think I got two of them here. Because like I said, I went to a couple different Tuesday mornings. And I usually go when Poppy's in doggy daycare um, for the day. Poppy if you've seen my other videos, you know that Poppy is a rescue. I had found her the Wednesday before uh, Thanksgiving three years ago, running around a parking lot in a grocery store and almost got hit five times before I got her in my car. And she has issues. <laughs> um, we've worked on a lot of issues. Um, her biggest one still is food, but she's come a long way. Uh, she maybe gets on with mittens about food now I think once every three months or so and it used to be every day so she's made a lot of progress and mittens has learned um, it's really kind of funny mittens has learned when Poppy's eating you stay out of her way <laughs> so over there so it's it's like I said, they have a love-hate relationship. They act more like sisters than a dog and a cat because they kiss and make up. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby, again looking for nautical paper. <laughs> I think I overdid it. Um, <laughs> I know I overdid it. According to my husband, I overdid it. Uh, the first one is called Cape Cod. And this is the paper studio. And this one is a very bold one. So it would be a very beachy one. 
um, the colors are very dark. You do have some of the lights in there. So, I like this one. And this one. So, this one would be a very... If you did it, it, it would be um, more along an Eastern Coast type um, mini album. I'm going to put that there because it's got to go in the pile. Then this one is, like I said, I think I went over board. Um, Seaworthy Stack. This is Die Cuts with a View. And... Actually, this one goes very well with that other one in that it has the cut aparts. It has more um, design elements. So between the two of them, you can probably get four, um, three or four mini albums. Not pretty. So. And that's, that's the thing. Sometimes you can find some of these papers from different paper lines and when you, put a, when you put them side by side, you can see where they go together. So that one will go... Whoops. Okay, the lid fell off of this one. Now this one would definitely go with this kit. This paper line. It's called Beach House, and again, it's a paper studio one. Um, there's 60 designs, so between that and this, you know, I've got, there's a lot you can do. And the thing is, some of the papers you can use for other um, mini type mini albums. It doesn't necessarily have to be a beach theme one, because some of the pages are kind of neutral, and if you go with the same kind of uh, look, you can use it in other uh, type mini albums, rather than, like this one. This, you know, you can use this with a uh, shabby chic, an animal print one. So. Just because it says beach house does not necessarily mean you have to keep it in that theme. You can, like this one, that's pretty. So, rocks. So, people don't worry about if, just because the paper line says beach house, it does not mean that everything you make with it needs to be beachy themed. It can be other themed. I don't know if that'll fit. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. There my husband was being a sorry. Um, what kind of, I've got a Ustream going here, um, uh, Scraps to Beauty by Xandra, and <laughs> my tablet just said it wanted to update. Let's see, Poppy. Last one. Go get it. Alright. Uh, this one. Okay, I went to my favorite store. What else? I had my husband with me. That was problem number one. <laughs> I let my husband go with me. Um, if you know, uh, Tim Holtz is coming out with new stickle or new uh, distressed stains. And he's coming out with them one color a month. 
and I forgot to order mine. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, Stampers Inc. had the whole thing, and I think it's $28 for, the, for this whole thing, um, which is the ink pad, which for January was Crack Pistachio. Um, for February, it's Coral, something Coral. Uh, the Distress Marker. This is the Stain. This is the Reinker. And this is the Paint. So I got all that. And my husband bought me these. <laughs> I picked out two. He picked out the rest. Uh, we've got, let's see, let me divide them because some of them are stickles and some of them are liquid pearls. Um, okay, for, so for liquid pearls, he bought me pewter, rose gold, and brass. And they're actually very pretty colors. I don't know if you can see them. I've been trying to improve my lighting, and my husband has actually put um, some new bulbs in. And then for stickles, he got me sprinkled sugar, disco ball, fresh pineapple, raspberry tart, Enchant It, which is a really pretty purple. It shows up blue on it, but it's purple. And then um, Cool Mint, which kind of goes along. When you look at it, when you look at the paint, picture it. look at that. They're, they're not the same, quite the same tone, but they're within the same color family. So... The Cracked Pistachio and the Cool Mint. Well, they might go together. I have a very nice husband. Uh, the other thing I got was um, by Elizabeth Dyes Tags and More Six Daisy. And I'm actually going to do something with these. So I need to put them where I will. Then I got um, the prop set. And this is for the dog and the cat. Um, dies that I got by Karen Berniston. Pop it up. And then because I'm doing... Uh, kind of a beachy thing. I saw this die and I thought, oh, this is cool. And the thing is, this wave here, you can use with snow. <laughs> um, but so what it is, is three dies, three edge dies, or yeah, three edge dies. One's got the kind of wavy with palm trees, then you got the ocean waves, and then you just have what is kind of like the sand waves. So... should honestly say, my that was my husband's haul from Stamper's Inc. Not mine. No more. From Joanne's. I didn't really find a lot. I was kind of looking for one paper tag, didn't see it, but that's okay. Uh, I found this when they were having their paper pads on sale. And it's called the Far East Stack. And I actually have some stuff that will go with it. Now here's the thing. Again, there are pages in here that you don't necessarily need to stay with that Far East thing. Like this one. You could do something different with that. The Butterflies. This one is, to me, this is kind of retro. Um, 
but it has some very pretty papers in there that would make a very pretty album. So what I'm what I try to do is make at least one album out of the stack and then use the rest of the paper for something else. Though sometimes you can get two albums if not close to three. Now that's pretty. That would be a cover right there. Okay. The other thing I got was these were hot to, hot buy, um, buys. Weren't the, quite the ones I was looking for, but that's okay. And I got the mat stack because I want to do some more I want to say I want to do some more wallet type albums. This is Tattered Times by Die Cuts with a View and I think I have the 12 by 12s so if I do that I can actually use some of these to make the pockets. So um, that's why I got that. Goes my paper stack. Then I got this travel stack, which is also a hot buy. Now, let me tell you this: Joanne's and Michael's both have what they call hot buy papers. Um, I don't think they change out very often, so you might have to check on them. But sometimes you can find something you really like. That's where I got the Best of Amy Tangerine um, stack and a few of those other ones. But this one is called the Travel Stack. And there's 48 in here. And this is this is 6x6. Six six. Yeah. So this is all casino. <laughs> Going to Vegas. That pretty. I like that one. That'd be a neat cover. That's pretty too. So that's kind of neat with all those stamps and everything. So you know, this is their tra a travel one. And then I picked up three stamp. They're all on sale. <laughs> three bucks each. This first one, uh, use with Project Life. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't say what. Certified mail. So it's got the postcard up here. It's got, I would guess this is for journaling, airplane, uh, the different uh, type stamps. This here, which is a frame, the music. And then it's got the frame and this looks like a double one. So, and then this one, again, used with Project Life. In search of adventure. So when I do my travel albums, these are great for that. They got the arrows. Uh, the best thing in life aren't things. You rock. In search of adventure, it's ridiculously easy to find. Uh, be careful going in search of adventure. It's ridiculously easy to find. And I like this one down here. I don't know. I think because every other time you see something like this, it's always squared off. This one has the rounded corners. Then there's this one, which is Say Cheese, and it's got the photo mat, which is something I like. Then it's got LOL, thanks, or Ha Ha, uh, You Only Live Once, and YOLO. Oh, You Only Live Once, okay. Um, then it's got Memory, Say Cheese, and 
some of those things, so. Okay. Poppy, I told you, no more. All right. Let me go there. Tuesday morning. See, there's that other cooking one. Like I said, I bought sand. I bought a big box of sand. <laughs> I don't know why. I just did. Oh, I did go to Michael's. Okay. All right, Michael's is a small one. Because basically all I got at Michael's was shells. Two bags of shells. And sand. And then I got, I found this. And it's paper ropes. Now, you can only find it online now. They used to have the paper ropes that you could untwist. And it's um, paper ribbon, I guess they call it. And you can untwist it and it comes out about mm, two and a half to four inches. And that. But I saw this and I thought it was cute. I also got this regulation. It's a Valentine's one. But I wanted it for the two doilies and this border. So the hearts and the cupid are just a bonus. So at Tuesday morning, I got another one of the cook pick or the baking cooking kits. I bought these paper napkins just because they had the peacock on them. And I've got an idea of what to do with them. I found this one, uh, the Sizzix Die Which Love, which goes with the other two I have. I got this thing, this one here. Normally it's almost $12 and I got it for $3. And it's from Seven Gypsies, and it's ephemera stamps, and it's all travel. Collection from the journey. It's kind of like if you have a passport and they stamp it. It look they look kind of like that, but it's all kinds of different um, stamps like that. The other thing I found was more Heidi Swap stuff. And these are long and narrow album tags. But they're the sprayable ones, and the, these are the striped ones. I also found some of her butterflies that you can spray. And I found some of her trimmings, which I thought was neat because I have some sprays that I want to play with. One Tuesday morning. Okay. <laughs> it's all in there. All right. Um, we are memory keepers. Where did the thingy go for that? It came off. It came back. Oh, um, when I was at you uh, uh, Tuesday morning, they have this set from We Are Memory Keepers. It included all these tools. Um, the package is downstairs. I think it was it was either ten dollars or five dollars one of the two. But this is a small magnetic board 
which is nice because the ruler, <laughs> show that to my husband, he just shook his head. Plus it came with a craft knife and I thought this would be good to take on crops and everything. He had questions about the swirly, I said, because it's ergonomic. Plus it had the eyelet setter and he asked me about that. I said, honey, it's to set eyelets <laughs> or set, um, not so much eyelets as it is to set, um, you know what I'm talking about, the little fasteners with the legs. And it came with the reverse tweezers and a very nice uh, scissors. So, these are going in my, two I gotta straighten up my tool caddy here. But, um, this, I'm gonna keep at my desk for small, small things. I have, there it is. I have, uh, this one. From We Are Memory Keepers, because I, I do have, they're so easy in that. And this ruler here is for use with the so easy so that you can actually line it up and go straight. But I saw that they have a large pad with the magnetic and I told my husband, I said, you know, I'd really like it, but it's expensive. I said, I think I'll wait until it goes on sale and I can, um, use uh, or use a good coupon on it. The other thing I found at Tuesday morning were these two big dies. This one is a heart one. This one <coughs> is called a 3D ball. Now, I have a wild idea for these. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, but I think it's going to be really cool if it comes off, if the idea I'm thinking of works. Because it would be a, it be a way to take your dies and make them even more functional. So, I got to take in... Uh, work with these a little bit before I do it. One of them involves three rubber bands. So. This was actually in a package. And actually, I got two of them. <laughs> I ended up getting two of them. I didn't open this one. Um, I know everyone's been trying to find the We Are Memory Keepers angle and photo cut. Well, I found them on two different sites, and wait, did I open? Them? No, I didn't open this one. This one got chewed on. Oh. And so I ordered two of them, and I haven't decided what to do with the second one. And the neat thing is, they both came around the same time. So I now have two of these. So I, the only one I'm missing is the cloud one. So I gotta look for that one. But I like that I could do an angle cut you now. Is that it? I think that's it. Poppy, you take all my stuff? Yep, that's it. Okay, so. Then, uh, that's my last haul for a while. But one of them was not mine. One of them was my husband's. So, oh, the mini toolkit was ten dollars. So, So I thought that was a good deal. And that's kind of a nice toolkit. And you get a lot of stuff. Because I priced those out. And just for the... Where is it now? 
I just got it and I lost it already. <laughs> Uh, just for that, just for this tool, it's like nine, ten bucks. So, but yeah, this is what you use when you use those with the fasteners. So, you know, you rack them like that. But, um, Tuesday morning is turning out to be kind of a neat place to go to. I never thought it would. I don't know why I avoided it. I saw other people doing hauls from it. But, anyways, be on the lookout because I am going to do, I'm going to feature stamping up items. I'm going to do a video featuring um, some stamping up items. I've got their funny bones. I'm going to take couple other funny bone stamps and use them to make a couple cards and to show you what they are. I also have a couple of Thomas Kincaid. That's the painter light I can never think of his name. Um, I also have a couple Thomas Kincaid stamps and I, I'll show you a neat technique to use with those to make those pop. Especially when you can't color them like the samples show. Oh gosh, I've seen them colored and oh my gosh, are they gorgeous. Um, she also has Riley in there. I'll do a couple Rileys. So, just to show, showcase some of the stuff that they have there. And I do want to do a, a tag, couple tags with that. So that is it for now. Hope you all had a good Valentine's Day. Have a good night. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.